I can hear Where there are wounds I can bind And hunger I can feel Lord, grant me courage Lord, grant me strength
Good evening, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Antonio Nakpil, Soriano family, Queen Dara family, Attorney Francis Bucci Lagmanen family, for the birthday thanksgiving of Nina M. Santa Maria, Rainer Joseph Tablan, Mr. Koide for his 60th birthday, Justin Nakpil, John Gabriel Soriano, Eduardo Manuel, for the special intentions of Glenn Myla Quizon, Phil and Janet Castro and family, for the complete healing of Strela Planes, Mark John Miranda, Gavi Sheila Sydney and Colleen Padua, Lina Lansang, Ernesto Dizon, Estrelita Malapitan, Mark John Miranda, Illuminada David Benzon, Lucille Jean Bautista, Imelda Talorin Maglaya, Elmer and Jenny Purisima, Ernesto Godoy Silva, Delphine Malapitan, and all our sick relatives and friends. For the safe travel of Roswell Luico, for the eternal repose of the souls of Jose P. Navarro Sr., Cesario Santos for his first death anniversary, Dan Lee Serrano, Federico Soto Aison, Monsignor Francisco Pax Lansang, Maria Teresa Morales, Euphemia Miranda, Jesus Cabiling, Levi Laos, Diosdado Cruz, Rosita Marinas, Armando Cruz, Restituto Torres, Elena Pinga, Father Larry Sarmiento, Artemio Nogoy Sr. and Jr., Severina and Nora Nogoy, Sonia Umandal, and all poor souls in purgatory. Let us all rise to glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Good evening po. Good evening po, Among. Let us celebrate this Mass with our thanksgiving for the graces the Lord has afforded us. We are rich enough to celebrate the freedom of celebrating our life to the simplest way possible. Sometimes we are cluttered with a lot of concerns that we are not able to follow our heart, to leave everything and to follow the Lord. And sometimes we are like that rich young man in the gospel. For the times that we have cling to material things and we lost our sense of freedom in following our heart, in following our Lord, we ask the Lord for forgiveness. I confess. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. I invite you to remember your prayer, your intention, your thanksgiving, 
for the prayers of those who, who need it most. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things that no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, by a sudden blow. I am taking away from you the delight of your eyes, but do not mourn or weep or shed any tears. Groan in silence, make no lament for the dead. Bind on your turban, put your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your bird, and do not eat customary bread. That evening, my wife died. And the next morning, I did as I had been commanded. Then the people asked me, Will you not tell us what all these things that you are doing mean for us? I therefore spoke to the people that morning, saying to them, Thus the word of the Lord came to me. Say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, I will now desecrate my sanctuary, the stronghold of your pride, the delight of your eyes, the desire of your soul. The sons and daughters you left behind shall fall by the sword. Ezekiel shall be a sign for you. All that he did you shall do when it happens. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. You shall do as I have done, not covering your birds nor eating the customary bread. Your turban shall remain on your heads, your sandals on your feet. You shall not mourn or weep, but you shall rot away because of your sins and groan one to another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be, You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You were unmindful of the rock that begat you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. When the Lord saw this, he was filled with loathing and anger toward his sons and daughters. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. I will hide my face from them, he said, and see what will then become of them. What a fickle race they are, sons with no loyalty in them. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. Since they have provoked me with their no God and angered me with their vain idols, I will provoke them with a no people, with a foolish nation, I will anger them. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. Let us all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A young man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, 
What good must I do to gain eternal life? And Jesus answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. And he asked him, Which one? Jesus replied, You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All this, Lord, I have observed. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go. Sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Solitude, silence, and stillness. This morning, I attend the funeral mass of uh, Monsignor Francisco Pax Ricafort Lansang at the Holy Rosary Parish. Actually, the Holy Rosary Parish was his last assignment before he retired. Monsignor Lansang is 87 years old. The words I said to you are from the words of the sister of Monsignor Lansang, Sister Pia Lansang who is a Benedictine nun. And she said at the last days of Monsignor, when he retired almost 10 years ago, he experienced what he longed for, solitude, silence, and stillness. A few years ago, I was listening to Bishop Sok Biliegas. And one time he asked, yung mga nagsisimba, di ba kumisan may mga greeting-greeting tayo sa misa? Peace be with you, peace be with you. Yan. Kaya, good morning, good morning. Pagsabing good morning, pagsabing hello, parang gano'n, no? Misan, sa kanyang misa, may pinasabi siya sa mga katabi. Sabi niya, pwede po, sabihin mo sa mga katabi mo, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, Mamamatay ka rin. Sige, sabihin mo sa kanya. Mamamatay ka rin. Sige, mama, mamamatay ka rin. Mamamatay ka rin. <laughs> Usually, sinasabi natin yan pag galit na galit ka na, di ba? When you hate a person, when you are very angry, gusto mo siyang suntukin o sakalin sa pa. Sasabihin mo lang, dahil hindi mo magawa, sabi mamamatay ka rin. Matay ka rin. <laughs> you will die. You know, in fact, this is not only a curse. This is not, hindi naman po, hindi naman po pagmumura yun. You are only stating a fact. You are only stating a reality which we do not want to talk about. Mamamatay ka rin. Dahil tayong lahat, no exemption, mamamatay tayong lahat. <laughs> a sense of mortality. Kung nakapunta na po kayo sa Betis, Betis Guagua, if I'm not mistaken, dun sa sementeryo dun, pag nakikipaglibing ka, kunyari nakikipaglibing ka, dala-dala mo yung, uh, yung ataul ng kamag-anak mong matanda, si Lolo, ganyan, dala-dala mo. Tapos pagpasok nyo dun sa may gate at may arko dun sa gate ng sementeryo, 
mapatingin ka dun sa arko ng cemetery nakalagay ako ngeni ikabukas <laughs> ako ngayon ikaw bukas naman siguro may bugbing itabili ang <laughs> tatalnan because also the statement is only stating a fact today it's my turn tomorrow it's your turn my dear friends if we accept this very early in our life it makes us more free more liberated in terms of not anchoring ourselves to things that would not surrender ourselves fully to the grace of following our heart because we can be fixed with material things and will not really be fulfilled. The, meron po akong na, nabasang minsan, sishare ko sa inyo, gustong gusto ko po ito. Sabi niya, The day you were born, you cried, and the rest of the world rejoiced. Di ba nung pagsilang natin, no? Doktora Cora, pagsilang ng bata, umiiyak. Tapos naman, yung pamilya, ang saya-saya. Sinilang na yung apo namin, nandito na yung kapatid namin, nandito na yung bunso. When you were born, you were crying while the world, while the world, while the world was rejoicing. And then mayroon pang dinugtong, live your life well. Ayusin mo yung buhay mo so that when you die, the world will cry and you rejoice. Ayusin mo yung buhay mo. Pag ikaw mamamatay na, umiiyak yung mundo at ang kaluluwa mo, masayang masaya because you have fulfilled your life. It's called sweet surrender. Hindi po lahat ng surrender masama. May surrender na suko na ako, wala akong magagawa, I'm helpless. That's called defeat. No? O kaya sa asawa ko, so, so, so niya rin may asawa ka, suko na ako sa asawa ko. <laughs> That's, <laughs> ah, hindi po yata masaya yun. Parang natalo ka lang, you surrender. Because you were forced against your will. You are not comfortable with it. Parang hindi mo kayang kalaban mo. Pwede rin sa gera, ganyan. So, morender kayo because talo na. You are forced against your will and you are unfree. Kasi so, morender na ako, hindi na ako malaya. But there's a deeper sense of surrender that actually, in the contrary, makes you actually free. It's called sweet surrender. When Mary said, let it be done according to your will. When Jesus said, it's not my will, but your will, Lord, before the crucifixion, as he prayed at Gethsemane. Those expressions of surrendering are actually a higher level of freedom. Ibinibigay kong sarili ko sa'yo at in following the Lord, you become greater in terms of your sense of freedom to follow your calling. Ganito po yung kalungkutan ng kabataan na nagtanong kay Jesus, Lord, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Ano po yung gagawin ko para mapasa akin ang buhay na walang hanggan? Alam na alam mong parang negosyante siya. She's doing a, he's a doing a proposal, parang business proposal. What will I do to gain eternal life? Ano yung gagawin ko para makuha ko yung gusto ko? Ang buhay na walang hanggan. Parang it's an exchange. Babayaran ko ito by following the Ten Commandments. Babayaran ko ito by doing something good. Ano po yung gagawin ko? Sabi nga ng expression, W-I-I-F-M. Ano yon? What is it for me? And what will I get from... What do I get in return? Anong makukuha ko dyan? Ba't naman ako magsisimba? What is it for me? Let's talk business, Lord. What do I get in exchange for eternal life? Eternal goods. Where they really belong. 
Ito po ang tanong ng ating Ebanghelyo. Ano kaya ang kapalit na inihintay ng Diyos? Actually, this is spiritual goods. You can never buy them. But actually, they are given for free. It's called that experience of that sweet surrender when you let go and you let God. When you submit yourself to higher grace than your own capacity. Because the fruits of dis- discipleship, when you follow the Lord, the way the 12 disciples followed Him totally after resurrection, peace of mind, tranquility, contentment, meaning, fulfillment, a deep sense of happiness that buying material things would not really afford to give you. With God, all things are possible. There is total liberation from attachment to temporal and material goods. Minsan po may nag-uusap, magkaibigan sila. Yung isa, pala simba. Kamukha ninyo, nagsisimba, lunes na lunes. Yung isa, hindi masyadong nagsisimba. Hindi rin siya masyadong nagdarasal. Pero yung isa, kamukha ninyo, nagdarasal. Sabi nito yung isa, My friend, what do you gain when you pray? Ano ba naman ang napapala mo pag nagdarasal ka? What do you get by attending Mass? Ano naman nakukuha mo? Nag- nagsisimba ka pa. And then, the friend said, None. I get nothing. Oh, wala ka naman palang, no? <laughs> wala ka naman palang nakukuha. Ba't nagsisimba ka pa dyan? Ala ka naman. <laughs> There's nothing to gain. Tapos, sinagot pa nung kaibigan niyang nagsisimba. Actually, I lost more. I lose more. Nawawalan pa nga ako eh. eh? <laughs> wala ka nang nakukuha sa pagsisimba. Wala ka nang nakukuha sa pagdarasal. Nawawalan ka pa. Oh, ba't nagsisimba ka pa? Ba't nagdarasal ka pa? Yes, sabi ni itong kaibigan niya. And was just smiling. Because since I pray, and every time I go to Mass, I lose my sense of ego. My greed. Nawawala ang galit ko. Nawawala yung pride ko. Nawawala din yung takot ko. Nawawala yung takot ko sa kamatayan. Nawawala din yung insecurity ko. I lose my sense of stress and unnecessary worries. Nawawalan ako ng galit sa kalooban, that, that anger and hatred in my heart. You notice, following the Lord is not only gaining something, it is also letting go of things that we really do not need. That would also make you free to be totally happy, to be secured in the, on the other hand, to see yourself in other persons too. You lose your, your sense of greed and anger, then you can be more peaceful, quiet. Now I just want to go back to the fulfilling life of Monsignor Pax Lansang. And I'd like to offer this to this Monsignor who had been an inspiration to so many vocations in our diocese. Kahit saan pong maasay na parokya si Monsignor Pax, mayroon po siyang vocation committee. Mayroon po siyang pondo para sa mga nagpapare. Sa Arayat, sa Santa Rita, ay sorry, Santa, taga Santa Rita po siya, sa Anta Ana, and even sa, lalo na sa Holy Rosary. Marami po ako naging kaklase na pinaaral sa seminaryo ni Monsignor Lansang. You know why? Sabi nung nag-share na ni Bishop kanina, si Bishop Labarias, mayroon siyang matandang-matandang sulat sa kanyang rektor nung pumasok siya sa seminaryo. Sinulatan siya ng rektor nila sa seminaryo para sabihin daw, you do not have any vocation. Hindi ka tinatawag ng Diyos. Hindi ka pwedeng magpare. At uh, at the end, we realize Monsignor Lansang, on the contrary, became a very good priest.
until the end. And at the end of his life, sabi daw nung doktor niya, may doktor po siya sa UST, the last days na nako-confine siya. Sabi daw nung doktor, kamo kasi siguro nung rich young man yung doktor, mayaman siguro yung doktor. Sabi nung doktor, Monsignor, why do you stay in the farm? No? Kasi nakaretire po siya, nasa farm lang. No? <laughs> Ba't nandun ka lang? No? <laughs> kasi dati siya nasa sentro, Angela City, head ng uh, Vicar, uh, Vicar, uh, Vicar General, no? assistant ng obispo, no? <laughs> second to the bishop during his times. In authority. Nakasentro siya. Sabi nung uh, doktor sa UST, why do you go to the farm? No? Ang sagot daw niya, I enjoy my solitude. Hindi daw maintindihan yung doktor ng solitude kasi wala namang, hindi naman medical term yun, di ba? Solitude. Yung katahimikan ng kaluluwa, yung katahimikan ng puso, yung katahimikan ng Isip. And he also enjoyed silence, literal silence. Hindi na maingay. Wala nang maraming sasakyan na ganyan. Wala nang maraming celebration na malalaki. And then that experience of stillness, na natili na lang siya doon. And when the Lord called him, he was free. He was free to follow the Lord. Solitude, stillness, and silence. I pray that we will have this in our hearts, in our souls, especially now that we are called to be still, to experience and enjoy the solitude and the silence with the many days ahead of us. May the Lord continue to make us free from anything that we realize we really do not need. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all rise. Jesus Christ challenges us to exchange the material riches of this world for His eternal wisdom and freedom of the followers of Christ. May our prayers as His people call upon Him and we shall answer, You are our inheritance, O Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord, that the Church may free men and women from the materialism and folly. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. That the government leaders may not sacrifice their principles for power, success, and ambition, but commit themselves to promote human dignity and values of the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. That parents and educators may challenge the young to live for things not really matter. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. That Christians who are rich in possessions and talents may learn to share what they are and have with those who have less. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. That our beloved dead may have the fill of the riches of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Let us include in our personal prayers and our community prayers the thanksgiving of Antonio Nakpil, Soriano family, Quidara family, Attorney Francis and Bucci Lagman and family, for the birthday Thanksgiving of Nina Santa Maria, Rainier Joseph Tablan, Koji, Mr. Koji, 60th birthday, Nak Justin Nakpil and John Gabriel Soriano. For the intentions of Glenn and Myla Kison, Phil and Janet Castro and family. For the healing of our friends who are sick, especially our family members, Estrella Planes, Illuminada David Benson, John Mark John Miranda, Lucille Jean Bautista, 
Davi, Sheila, Sydney, and Colin Padua, Imelda Talyorin Maglaya, Lina Lansang, Elmer and Jenny Purisima, Ernesto Dison, Ernesto Silva, Estrelita Malapitan, Delphine Malapitan, and Mark John Miranda, and for the safe travel of Rochelle Yuiko. We pray for the eternal repose of the souls of Jose P. Navarro Jr., Cesario Santos, for his first death anniversary, Dandy Serrano, Federico Soto Aison, Monsignor Francisco Lansang, Maria Teresa Morales, Euphemia Miranda, Jesus Cabiling, Levi Laus, Diosdado Cruz, Rosita Mariñas, Armando Cruz, Restetito Torres, Elena Pinga, Father Larry Sarmiento, Artemio Nogoy Sr. and Jr., Severina and Nora Nogoy, and for the poor souls in Purgatory. God our Father, grant us courage, joy, trust, and integrity. Make us wise with the wisdom of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, but thy offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. His death we celebrate with living faith. His resurrection we confess with our great love. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Archbishop, with all the priests and our friends, celebrating our faith in you, our freedom to follow you, O Lord, especially those who serve in our parish here at the Holy Cross. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I give you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The love and peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let's share with one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Horatio Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Ra, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Let us all rise. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven. And we ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you and upon your family and loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered. May you be free to follow your heart in following the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.